But are we working towards getting this BSL level four facility in this country so that we can advance our research? Well, it's only government that can do that. As I said, um, what has become very useful is that this has exposed us to the gaps we, we have in our system. Much more important also helps people to also appreciate that our military, when you now see co other countries' military budget, you see these military people that are having so much money. M part of that money goes for this kind of research. The military has to be equipped to go into areas. If we had equipped our military, you wouldn't even know that, that uh, the doctor that would be treating this Ebola patient would have been army doctors. That's how it is done if we had equipped our mili military. And this is when I work for Walter Reed. Walter Reed is an army research institute. Then we had in Frederick, uh, Army uh, Research Institute for Infectious Diseases. Frederick is about 20 kilometers out of Washington. And that is where this is, uh, is done. And uh, that is, uh, how if you have time to read the book called The Red Zone, uh, read it. And you see the kind of dangers people are in that, uh, in that line of business uh, go through. But we, we are now looking at things that could happen uh, 10 years from now. Uh, if a situation, God forbid, and somebody now weaponizes this, then we are, we'll be in trouble. Is it a possibility? Oh, yeah, yeah, very, very, very low possibility. Very, is there. That is why America, Japan, Britain, and all these people, their military are interested in it. Very, very, very high, sorry, very high possibility, but it's a low-hanging food that it can be done. That is, if you check uh, Ebola, it is a class uh, category A bioterrorism weapon, category A. And that was also why we were alarmed when there was a suggestion about using, um, uh, what do they call it, uh, uh, silver nano, because of that strength that you can weaponize something that uh, could have been contained by inadvantage use of such low level particles. Right now, you cannot inhale Ebola, but imagine if you now put uh, uh, nano silver into it, there's a theoretical, theoretical possibility that you can weaponize the, the virus. Those are caught in, uh, as I say, frontier science. We're also looking at uh, uh, sustainability science in the sense that how can we sustain the environment, the lifestyle that we have here so that we are not uh, overwhelmed by our environment? Well, Ayo here says, what other measure or step do you think the government can take to prevent the spread of Ebola virus? Uh, continue what they are doing so far, uh, education, education, but education, right education. Uh, now everybody's jumping in the bandwagon as if they are ambulance chasers. Uh, I think they should just uh, allow the Ministry of Health to do their work the state ministries of health to do their work. Uh, the areas that are not yet infected should not uh, lower their guards. They should be able to uh, put uh, measures in place just for containment and so on. I was amused in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Abuja. One particular local government didn't want the containment uh, facility in, <laughs> in his, in his uh, hospital. But these things have to be done. Somebody has to do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tony, okay, just, let's take this one before we go. Okay. Tony says, if Garcinia cola inhibits the multiplication of Ebola, is it not wise for the government to encourage it and halt it? Uh, it was a decision of the government, but it's also one of the products, let me at least that one I want to admit, one of the products that we are looking into at the TRG. But this is where uh, we have to rely on the vision of the minister. He's our doctor. Whatever he decides, uh, even if, if that's why they don't allow uh, people to treat themselves. You, even if you are a physician, you go and consult another doctor so that he will dispassionately check what is uh, best for you. There are things that have gone through phase one, phase two, that uh, the minister will have options to use that are, are known to uh, treat human condition more than uh, Garcinia, that the minister will know. So the health ministry are the best to advise us on what to do. Okay, well, I'd like to thank you for coming on today. Uh, professor Morris, he was a professor of pharmacognosy and uh, that head or co chairs that committee that the federal government set up. Mm -hmm. is not a co chair, I'm no, just a you, member. Just a member? Yes. But that committee is still working. It's still it? working, yeah, mm -hmm. we are working. Do we expect to hear from them anytime? No, 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 you will hear from the minister. We are oh, an okay. advisory committee set up by the minister, so we channel our recommendations, everything about the committee to the, through the minister. All right. Uh, thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much. All right. We'll be back after this break. Join us again.